Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. What is muscle memory? What is neuroplasticity? Well, let's talk about that. I've got a Sig Sauer P229 in my hand and I just did a video where I essentially debunked the myth that your first shot with this double action, single action pistol is always going to be low. And that's because that's something that you hear all the time. You have read it on multiple places. You have heard it. You have seen it happen in videos where people say all the time that your first shot with this is always going to be low because of that first double action pull. Well, we put that myth to rest in the last video. But why do people think like that? It's because that's what they've read, that's what they've been told. That is part of making muscle memory, making uh, neural pathways and neuroplasticity. So let's break it down into a real life example. First of all, let's say that you've gone to work at the same place for five or six years and you've driven the same route to work back and forth, back and forth every day for that five or six years. You change jobs in a completely different location and how many of you have hopped in the car and you started to go to your old job instead of your new job? Have you done that? I bet you have. That is because of the muscle memory, the neural pathways that were created by that habit of driving the same route all the time. And to go ahead and use that as another example, let's say that you're going back to work and you need to stop at the bank to either get money or cash a check. How many times have you just simply driven by the bank and you forgot about it until you got to work? And you're like, oh no, I didn't go to the bank. Well, that's because your habit was driving the same route without any deviation. The same thing could be said like first thing in the morning, you forgot to eat breakfast and you think, well, I'll just stop by, you know, a little mini mart or something, get myself a donut. And you don't, you get to work and you haven't had any breakfast at all. Why? Because of the way that you programmed yourself. So what we do and the repetitions that we do can either be good for us or they can be bad for us. They can have positive reinforcement or they can have negative reinforcement. So first and foremost, you need to overcome any obstacles that are preventing you from either being better when it comes to the shooting sports or in a life endeavor. If somebody tells you all the time and you listen to them say, you're going to fail, you're going to fail, you're going to fail, you can't do it, you can't make that, it'll never happen, then chances are it won't because all you've had is that negative reinforcement. But the key is to go against the tide, go against the grain and wash all that away and say, I will do it. Not, I think I can do it, but I will do it. I will get that job. I will get better at my job. I will be in a better position to feed my family. Does that make sense to you? I hope so. And when it comes to firearms training, the same thing is true. If somebody tells you that you're never going to exceed a certain uh, level of marksmanship or something else, don't pay attention to them. Do not pay attention to naysayers. There are plenty of people out there that would like to keep you down and they would like to keep you uh, at their level or below because that's just the way that society works. I'm sure that you've all had friends that have wanted to keep you within their circle and they like having you around. But what happens? You change jobs, you get a better job, you move, something like that, and then you're not in contact with them anymore or you're in less contact because you recognize that they were a negative influence on your life. So hopefully this is a first step 
to talking about neural pathways and how we get positive neural pathways going. How many of you, when you come home at night and it's dark out, you can still reach in your pocket, grab your key, and in one fluid motion, you get that key into the lock, you turn it, and you go inside your house. You didn't have to think about it. You didn't have to think about steps. Do you have to think about a whole lot when you're driving the car back and forth to work? No, because you've driven that route so many times. Make sense? Hope so. At least that's my first introduction into the subject for you, and hopefully it's given you something to think about. So thanks for watching, and until next time, everybody, have a good one and be safe out there.